us off today by talking about two things. First of all, why are we here? And secondly, how do we make the most out of this weekend? When I came up with this crazy idea to start a party about money, I was met with some initial skepticism. How was I going to convince a bunch of financially minded people to spend their hard earned dollars plus their precious time to hang out in Cincinnati of all places? <laughs> well, the way I see it, the way you spend any resource, whether it's your time, your money, or your energy, is a reflection of what you value. And I held on to this belief that I could create something that was valuable enough to be worth your time and your money. And also, align with your values. Because if you're sitting in this room today, I suspect that, like me, you value community. And if I had to sum up this whole weekend in one word, it would be this. Community. There are endless free resources for us to learn about personal finance. There are tons of books and blogs and podcasts that can teach us anything we want to learn about money. And those things are amazing. They helped me get out of 30 grand of debt in 11 months. Thank you. Here's clip, here's clip. They helped me start saving and investing 60% of my income. They helped me change my mindset around money in a way that opened up a world of opportunity for me. But when I started tapping into this community, the people sitting in this room right now, it has added a richness to my journey that I couldn't have created myself. You see, I've come to the conclusion that Phi is better with friends, right? I'm sure you guys have seen on the Facebook groups and the subreddits and the different forums, people talking about how Phi is a lonely path. And it makes sense, right? I mean, money is a pretty taboo topic. And we're doing a pretty unconventional thing here, pursuing financial independence. Some people, it can make you feel a little isolated. But I think that's a problem that we can fix. Because you see, there's an easy sense of camaraderie that builds between people headed towards a common goal that can make the whole journey feel much lighter and more fun. And I don't know about you guys, but financial independence and early retirement sounds a hell of a lot more appealing if I've got someone to hang out with, right? So that's the opportunity this weekend. I truly believe there's someone sitting in this room that could change everything for you. And I feel so strongly about that because it happened to me. There is a woman in the audience who is slowly making her way under her chair right now. <laughs> I don't know where she's at. But that's my friend Erin. I met Erin at Economy in 2020, in this room. And she's become a huge part of my life over the last year and a half. You see, Erin is one of the few people I know that has full autonomy over her time. So what that means is that we can go long distance hiking every weekend, and during the summers, we can spend a lazy Tuesday afternoon getting wasted on the Miami River. <laughs> Who else can I do that with besides Erin? Erin has, um, she reached uh, Coast Fi a couple years ago and she left her corporate career. So she was actually in a really unique position to coach me as I followed in her footsteps and left my corporate career earlier this year. Thank you. It is very possible that your new best friend is sitting in this audience waiting to salivate over a spreadsheet with you. Like, does that not get you jazzed as hell? Yes! Thank you! 
I also feel compelled to tell you, as Erin's friend, that she is single and ready to mingle, people. <laughs> if I accomplish one thing at economy this weekend, it's finding Erin a man. So, if you're going to that speed dating session later today, I just want to let you know that I personally vouch for Erin, and you guys can fight amongst yourselves. By the way, that breakout session speed dating, I think it's the one I'm the most excited about. If someone meets their spouse at Economy, I am crashing your wedding. I'm also offering up, I will officiate. I think I could be pretty good at it. Thank you, thank you. There's another woman in the audience who is slowly making her way under her chair. And that's my friend Deb. Isn't she darling? <laughs> it takes three times to get a picture with her, but like when you get it, it's good, you know? So I met Deb a couple years ago at Camp Fi in Colorado Springs. Any cap Camp Fires here? <laughs> yes! Camp Fi. Mm. A couple years ago, I met Deb, and she had this brilliant idea to start a mastermind group of supportive women. And she asked me to join. And now, every two weeks, I get to meet with this amazing group of women. Look at these smiling faces. Many of them are here in the audience today. And, and what we do in our mastermind group is we, we kind of rotate through what we call the hot seat. So every two weeks, someone new is in the hot seat, um, and we communicate our goals, we communicate our challenges, we ban around each other, and off, we brainstorm together, we offer support. It is like the most type A of way to approach friendship. I mean, we've got, we've got a moderator, we've got a note taker, we've got an agenda. Very organized way of approaching friendship. But these women are the most thoughtful, creative, generous people I've ever met. They've really helped keep me sane. And surrounding myself with people like this has drastically improved my path to Phi. So, I really can't overstate how important I think community is. Because for better or for worse, the people around us really influence us. And you can't change the people around you, but you can change the people around you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is one of my favorite quotes about community. If you look at your inner circle and you're not inspired, then you don't have a circle, you have a cage. And if I'm right about how valuable I think economy could be, then perhaps we have an opportunity to form a new circle this weekend. Do you guys want to do that? Yeah. Yes. So, how do we make the most of this weekend? How do we meet our version of Erin? Not her specifically, she's taken. <laughs> how do we do that? I really think we need to approach this with an open heart. It's hard to make friends as an adult. I think we can all acknowledge that, right? And I don't know about you guys, but being isolated for like a year and a half, has anybody else developed some social anxiety? <laughs> right? And I'm an extreme extrovert, so if I'm feeling that way, I can't imagine how some introverts are feeling, right? So when I say approach this with an open heart, I also mean approach this with a generous heart. I'll tell you a really quick story. When I was in my freshman year of college, my first week of, of moving into the dorm rooms, 18 years old, first time living away from home, I was having a shy moment. It's happened once. <laughs> and I was having trouble making friends. <laughs> and so I'm in my dorm room, feeling sorry, about, feeling sorry for myself. And, and I have this moment of just like, snap out of it, woman. You are walking out that door, and you're making some fucking friends. <laughs> So I go up to the, the door, and I'm like holding on to the handle, and I'm getting myself pumped up to go make some friends. 
and I swing open the door, and walking past the threshold in that very moment is this, like, tall, blonde beauty. And I open the door, and I say, hi, I'm Diana. And she goes, hi, I'm Aggie. I said, well, well what are you doing, Aggie? What's going on? Where are you, what's, what are you up to? She said, well, I'm going down the hall to meet my roommates, and we're going to go for lunch. Do you want to come? Yes. Yes, I want to come. And actually, that group became my friend group in college. We, I moved in with them last, the next year. We all, like, roomed together. It's because Aggie approached me and greeted me with a generous heart. And I really hope that we can all do that for each other this weekend. Secondly, sharing is caring. This is a really broad audience. There are some people that are in the very beginning of their journeys. There are others that are knee deep in that accumulation phase, right? And there are even more that have reached financial independence and retired early and are here to cheer us on, support us, and come for the community aspect. I want to encourage everyone, share where you're at. I know it can be really intimidating for someone at the beginning to come to an event like this and be surrounded by so many experts and feel a little timid about it. But if you share where you're at in these breakout sessions, you never know how you can impact someone else, and you never know what resource someone can approach you with afterwards. Put yourself out there. Really want to encourage that. And lastly, there are a lot of experts in this room. I don't consider myself an expert. I call myself a personal finance enthusiast. There are so many other experts in this room that I call on when I have questions. But I want us all to be open to learning something that surprises us. Because as much as we may already know about money, there's, a, there's always more to learn about money, about lifestyle design, about how we're going to use our resources of time, energy, and money. So I'll say that about the breakout session. Did you guys go to the 9 a.m.? Did you like it? You enjoyed it? It was good? Great. So you'll notice that those breakout sessions are not formal presentations. We're going to see some amazing presentations on this stage. But there's also all this knowledge in the room. These breakout session sessions are really designed to get you talking to each other and meeting your spouse, because again, I really want to come to your wedding. <laughs> Um, so I want to encourage you, participate in the discussion. And then, at the after party, going and finding some dinner tonight, all the social activities tomorrow, when you put yourself out there, you, you open the door for someone to approach you and say, what you said in that breakout session really resonated with me. Can I talk to you about that more? What was that book you recommended? I want to write that down, right? This is the opportunity for us to start finding that circle.